Hey Scorpio, it's your girl Alex and I'm here to provide you guys with another reading. Hi boo boo. Alright, let's see what the universe has. Mm -hmm. I love you Scorpio. I feel like somebody needed to hear that. You're freaking amazing. God Angels Universe. Hi. Can we have a message for Scorpio that's clear and beautiful if you don't mind? Please, please. Oh, my angels just, they just be listening. Oh, come on out here, six of wands. Where we going? Eight of pentacles, nine of wands. We could deal with that. Nice woundedness and strength. All right, all right. Ooh, pentacles, world card, experience. Five of Cups, I mean, Five of Cups, Five of Cups, all right, all right, Six of Swords. So we moving on, we moving on, okay? So, okay, my angel says, somebody gonna ask you about them cards. I got them off of Amazon. I put in, just put in Golden Foil Tarot Deck and they'll come up, okay? All right, so what's going on with my Scopa? Ooh, ooh hoo I love the chariot. Chariot is travel, possibly even a new vehicle, new car. Ooh, devil. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like that devil is your obsessed. Scorpio, who are you obsessed with? Who is obsessed with you? Seven of Wands. Hi, Priestess. <laughs> Empress. Seven of Cups, Magician, Emperor, hey, come on out here, hey, look, the Six of Wands, okay, so I got the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands, so there will be progress made, I don't even know what this is yet, but you got the, the Chariot card, the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands, and you got the Six of Wands twice. So something is progressing, okay? I have the Knight of Pentacles here. Something is progressing. I have the Empress, the Emperor, the High Priestess, and the Magician, okay? Only card that's not out here is the Fool. At the very beginning of the Fool's journey, first person he meets is the Magician. Then he meets the High Priestess. Then he meets the Empress. Then he meets the Emperor. The Magician says, dude, you're human. Let me show you how to get around this human thing. The Empress, uh, the High Priestess says, oh, that's not all you are, my love. You're also an energy being. Let me help you learn about your energy self. Then the, you are born into um, physical parents. Your physical parents are mama who gave birth to you and then daddy who helps you to grow up to be big and strong and eat all of your vegetables. Okay, that is the very begin, the very first part of the fool's journey, is to learn about physical energy, and then the em the empress and emperor, you know, con conceive and then send that egg on through, uh -huh. and then you get fucked up by life. <laughs> All right, let me stop. Okay, <laughs> All right, wait, stop. Okay, I'm trying. Not only that, but the world card is out here. So I feel like right now, Scorpio, many of your lives are on display. Angel said we're going to do line by placement by placement. So I feel like there are going to be several, several. All right. <laughs> there are going to be several messages here for a bunch of you. For some of you, you might have met someone new. Um, you may be in love with or have new love in your life. Angels are like full steam ahead. You have all the green lights to proceed and, and it'll be a great freaking um, connection. Okay. Not only that, but they're also saying to me, do not bring in any worries, challenges, or fears. Just kind of quote unquote, follow your heart, activate your head, but follow your heart and move forward in love. Okay. Six of wands with the devil. I feel like some of you have been moving forward, right? Have been taking steps, 
have been trying something differently, like exercising, thinking more positive, you know, incorporating different and new things in your life. I feel like the six of wands and the devil are for people who as of late have been trying something new. You have been trying to confront your fears. Um, sidebar, um, as far as like hobbies or, um, you know, I've been looking at these videos about like taking yourself out and self care, more self care activities and confronting your fears was one of them. So for many of you, I feel like if you've already been doing stuff, you've already been trying something new, you know, fear is popping up. It's almost like angels saying, lean into the fear, confront the fear, turn those fear, that fear into fallacies, right? Cause fear is man-made fear is made by your brain. Okay. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Eight of pentacles and the seven of wands. There are some of y'all that need to be good with your boundaries. All right. Listen, Rob, don't fucking talk to me that way. I don't know who the fuck you think you talk, right? Some of you need to do a better job at standing up for yourselves, speaking up for yourselves. I don't even give a shit if it's at work. Okay. They keep giving you the shitty shift. Okay. The shitty shift. What's the shitty shift angels? Four to, four, to two, four to one, 4 p.m. to 1 a.m. Hell yeah, that's a shitty shift because I'm a banker's hours person. So speaking up may not be, you know, hey, Rob, why the fuck you keep giving me these shitty hours? Speaking up could be, hey, Rob, is there a reason why you keep assigning me, you know, four to 11? Or speaking up could be, hey, are there other shifts available? Or, hey, you know, is a six to three available or six to two, depending on where you are in the world. Okay. Take a breath. Nine of wands. Ooh, chow. Here comes up a huge message. Nine of wands represents woundedness. It represents being burnt out. It represents after being burnt out, what you going to do? You just going to lay there. You just going to stand behind these wands forever, or you going to work on, Get, getting rid of those wands, getting rid of those guards, healing yourself. Stop being so overly protected. Stop having a chip on your shoulder. Stop being so guarded, right? Are you going to start working on that stuff? Because I feel like intuitively the universe is saying to you, Psst, Scorpio, are you still going to be super duper guarded? Like, girl, dude, how much longer are we going to have to keep sending these torpedoes to try to knock these guards down before you get the message and the hint that you need to get these guards down. It's like every time we knock one down, you put four more up. I love that. <laughs> Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. I do kind of feel like your intuition is starting to send you messages about moving forward with healing or moving forward with dropping some guards or moving forward with unpacking those issues that make you feel unprotected and unsafe. Okay. Remember I said, a, a placement is going to hold a certain message. The strength with the high priest, with the empress. The angels are saying for this placement, you're approaching the finish line. Keep going. Right. It's almost like the angels are um, cheering you on. Um, Y'all ever see somebody run a marathon and right before, you know, they'll have certain people on the sidelines who will give them, you know, uh, is it soup or warm water or water or whatever. So their bones don't cramp or not bones, but so their muscles don't cramp up or whatever the case or keep them hydrated. I feel like that's your angelic team, your ancestors saying, keep going. You're almost there. Something is about to break. Something is about to bud. Something is about to blossom and grow. Um, there's also a message here for those of you who are desiring um, children. Um, I do kind of feel like angels are still saying, keep going. You're close to achieving your dream or your goal. Now, by the way, that doesn't just apply to pregnancy. If that reading resonated with you, basically the message here is, Keep going. It's about to happen. You're close to your goal. You're close to your dream. You're close to your finish line. Uh, seven of cups with the, the, um, the knight of pentacles 
Angels are saying stay focused on the goal. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm going to I'm going to say the example. <laughs> my angels and YouTube may flag me, but my angels said for those of you who are desiring to get pregnant, they're like, listen, don't get caught up in the act. <laughs> focus on the goal <laughs> that's all right i'm gonna leave it there because youtube youtube don't be playing they play too much um <laughs> so the knight of pentacles with the seven of cups kind of says stay grounded stay focused right don't get caught up in the illusion or the fantasy stay grounded one foot in front of the other take your time stay focused stay diligent oh i love this the world card with the magician. Oh, I love that. They're saying um, prepare for the next chapter, right? But prepare for the next step. I love that. I love that. It's almost like start, get, start to get your manifestations in order for your next chapter. So for some of you, as an example, if you just graduated nursing school, I freaking love nurses. Only people I love more than nurses are the military, right? Your military, I freaking, I'm past, present. I don't care. I love you. Thank you for your service. Okay. Nursing, I love y'all because y'all are the true healers. You are. The doctors cut and they have all the skill. They also have all the student loans. Um, But the nurses are really the caregivers that brings you back to you know, normalcy, so to speak. Okay. Um, so if you just graduated or enlisted or, you know, achieved some sort of goal, congratulations, like, come on, congratulations, you fucking did it. Okay. But now that you did do it, get ready for the next step. So what's next? Okay. So now you're a nurse. You're a nurse. Are you going to stop there? Are you CPN? You're going to get be an RN. If you're an RN, you know, are you going to think about going to medical school and being a doctor or sir? Right. The universe is wanting you to get ready for the next step. Five of cups with the emperor. The five of cups is disappointment, pain, hurt, depression, right? Feeling a little hurt, battered, bruised, especially emotionally. The emperor is almost like start to take control of your emotions. Now, this is a very sensitive subject with depression. Okay. First off my advice, and this is just my advice, angelic advice. You guys are responsible for, for doing whatever, but the first part of depression is just acknowledging, Hey, I'm depressed. I don't, I don't feel good. I don't feel like doing shit. Hell, I don't fucking like nobody, myself included right? The first part is just acknowledging and accepting it. Okay. The second thing, depression is normal, right? Unfortunately, like anxiety is normal. Unfortunately, um, you have all the DNA from the first person who created you on this planet. You've got all that DNA sitting in your body right now. So in other words, as long as you've been a human, all of the, of that DNA is sitting inside of you. Okay. As long as you've been a human while you're a human, I should say this lifetime, whoever the mama and daddy came together to create you, all of their genealogy is sitting inside of you. So four generations ago, if your you know, grand, great, 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 great grandfather, you know, you know, was a part of the English army and, you know, they did whatever and they suffered from PTSD that debt, that, that, um, DNA is sitting inside of you today. Okay. So I'm saying all of that to say this five of cups past life, right? Not your past life, your ancestors past lives that's sitting inside of you right now. For many of you with the emperor, it's like, start taking control myself. Personally, I've suffered from depression. I consider myself a functional, happy go lucky depressant. <laughs> That's stupid, but we all have times of lowness, right? My dad was depressed. Um, I don't know if his dad was depressed or his dad's dad was depressed, 
But I believe, I don't think it was scientifically proven yet, I believe depression is hereditary. I'm spending time on this card because it deserves the time, right? If you don't like it, fast forward. But the Five of Cups is pretty significant because there's something related to a past event, whether it's this lifetime or previous lifetime, whether it's your your cross to bear or whether it's your ancestors' cross, crosses to bear. Who are your ancestors? Your mom, your dad, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, right? Everybody who came before you that was a part of you being created, okay? God too, uh-huh, right? But God doesn't have DNA, human physical DNA. So I'm only talking humans. Anyway, um, with the emperor here, I feel like the universe is kind to, is trying to say, start to do the research, start to figure out why, start to take more control over what this pain is that's living inside of you because although it might have been handed to you through your you know genealogy it doesn't mean that you have to just live with it and not do anything right the, i i'm i'm not a proponent of depression drugs but it, i'm not a medical doctor i'm not a psychologist psychi psychiatrist <laughs> What is a psychiatrist? Thank you. Um, I'm not any of that. But I feel like the emperor is basically saying here, right? Because the emperor is the ruler of all. The emperor is also my God card. I feel like in addition to myself in this very long, went, long message, I kind of feel like the universe is saying, listen, okay? Listen, Renee, right? Listen, Ty. Listen, Taylor. It's time for you to, to, to take control of, or it's time for you to start doing something about whatever this heartbreak is, okay? Six of swords, six of wands, I will say it again. It's time to shift and move forward. It's time to, I don't necessarily feel like you're leaving something negative behind and moving forward to something positive, the six of swords and the six of wands just basically kind of says you since you now know better since you now are empowered since you now are now manifesting since you are now getting what it is that you want keep moving forward okay so there's a strong ass message there and that is even though you are getting what it is that you want still move forward okay many of you saw me put these cards down but my angels are like what you do that for <laughs> oh my goodness i have cards turned over which now makes sense because i was struggling to shuffle all right what other messages do we have for scorpio in this very long reading <laughs> angels just said to me for some of you you will get that job there was somebody who's like, okay, what about career? Some of you will get that job. If you're stuck in a dead end career, I would say get a side hobby where you can make money, you can improve your health, you can improve the world. Um, if you are in a career and you're like, oh, I'm thinking about changing careers, do a shitload of research, listen to your intuition, universe, the angels, your universe, the universe will guide you to whatever career option you can you can go into. The third uh, message I'm getting is for those of you, and I've spoken to many of you in personal readings, many of you can do a lot of things. You're a, you're a music producer and you're an artist and you also are, you know, um, a mechanic, right? You have all of these skills and you're like, okay, I don't know um, which one to go into. My angels are saying, think about coaching and or training. Train the next generation, train your children, train other people to be like you. As in, if you have over six skills, marketable, you know, money-making skills, baby, you need to be training all, all of us to be just like you to have all of those skills, right? And here's why that's important. The more skills you have, the more marketable you have, you will never grow, go hungry a day in your life. You will always be able to get a job doing something, 
Okay. All right. This this a uh, I feel like a guidance counselor. Mm -hmm. Come on, angels. What we got? Strength. Okay. For those of you who are activating your heart, who are opening up your heart, angels are saying, continue forward with your vulnerability. Practice vulnerability. Vulnerability, too, is a part of life. You can't be strong and courageous and masculine all the time. You got to balance it back out over into that feminine energy. This is a dumbass message. My angels are like, the emperor can't make babies on his own. He does need that feminine touch um, to help to nurture, support, and grow, you know, that creation. Okay. Mm, justice. I love the justice with the fear. Six of wands, you keep moving forward, things will balance out. It'll be okay, baby. Um, angels are also saying too, there are some of you, by the way, who got speeding tickets, kind of feel like you may have to take a course. You may have to do this. You may have to do that. And I feel like everything will be okay. Angels also said two accidents, non-negligent accident, meaning a negligent accident. You were texting on your cell phone. You got into an accident. This is not your message. Non-negligent accident. Oh, a hydroplane that, you know, crashed into the car in front of me. That's, you know, um, certain states would be like, oh, he is following too close. Anyway, um, I do kind of feel like a legal situation is about to level out in your favor. Some of you are afraid, are afraid of whatever this legal outcome is. Garnishment, right? Somebody suing you. I feel like you're it's, it's going to work out. Also, shout out to my attorneys. I had uh, readings with a couple of attorneys. Thank you so much for your viewership and support. Two of Wands. Oh, sorry. King of Pentacles. Keep working. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, I, I feel like there is a strong message here saying that you, it kind of feels like you are going to be recognized for your strength and diligence by a superior, but also at the same time for many of you who are working towards any sort of promotion or advancement when it comes to your careers, angels are saying, again, I don't use this word, that is imminent. So your promotion is imminent. Two of wands. Um, <laughs> Angels are saying you have a choice to put up the 10th one or you have a choice to knock them all down. Intuitively, I feel like many of you are like, all right, all right, Alex, I'll knock them down. Ooh, that's double Virgo right there with the seven of cups. And Virgo, Virgo is bright. Virgo is um, naive, right? Virgo is, I'm not going to say gullible, and I'm not talking all Virgos, but the sign, the symbol of Virgo is the virgin, right? It experiences things for the first time. It's a novice. It's a newbie. It's like, oh, what's that? All right. Um, I do kind of feel like some of you, again, could be could be, you know, fantasizing in on cloud nine about a situation and angels are just screaming right now. No, look both ways before you cross the street and stay grounded. Listen to us. Stop daydreaming, <laughs> right? Like somebody is, is a heavy daydreamer and angels are like, stop daydreaming substance taking, right? Substance abusing, right? Something that's keeping you loopy. Angels are like, no, <laughs> stop it. There's also a message here and I say this respectfully, but if yeah, if you are overindulging with some sort of substance, whether controlled or not, um, I kind of feel like you could be teetering upon having some sort of addiction. So I feel like angels are wanting you to get that looked at. Okay. Um, also at the same time, you know, I kind of say functional depressant. If you are a functional, um, substance abuser, meaning you, you drink a lot, but you get up to go to work every day, or maybe some days you go to work with alcohol in your breath. There's a strong message here that kind of says, Hey, it might be time to look into that. Okay. Um, nine of wands job. Well done, by the way. For those of you who are shifting, Angel said, um, 
uh, looking into a new cycle, they, they're congratulating you uh, on the job well done. Because it was, it was tough. It was. Whatever this was, was tough. I love this. Page of Swords. A Page of Swords with the Depressions. Again, look into it, right? Start to learn about it. I'm going to tell you something. Education is a powerful tool, right? Education will fuck up in ignorance all day long and all night too, by the way. So if you are ignorant, meaning you don't know about a situation, but you may judge or act differently because of that situation, let's just go ahead and use discrimination as an example. Say I was just, I, I discriminate against tarot readers, right? Typically we discriminate or are prejudiced or racist or whatever about things we know nothing the fuck about. Okay. People can, can, can talk about tarot readers all day and all night. It's just a story, right? It's just a story, by the way, like the Bible. Oh, oh, right. In the Bible, right. The old Testament, it was about Moses, right? The new Testament was about Jesus. The tarot is about the fool. Oh, did I say that? Yes, the fuck I did. Right. But my point is here. Education always trumps ignorance because the more you start to learn about something, the more you start to realize how similar whatever it is that you're afraid of prejudice or racist against is a lot like you. Okay. And once you start understanding and learning about that similarities, it stops becoming this unknown thing that I was ignorant about or didn't know about. And it starts to become a lot like me. I, it starts to become a lot more relatable. Okay. All right. <laughs> I should label this video. Tarot is just like religion. Who child? All of my left and right wing religious people. Who I get so many thumbs down. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> six of swords, six of wands with the world card. The world is the last card of the major arcana. And the world card just basically kind of symbolizes or signifies the entire, the fool's entire journey. It culminates everything that he's learned or she's learned or they've learned. You've learned about all of the different symbols, right? Love and hate and depression and the devil inside of you and religion and faith and, and betrayal. You've learned about all of that stuff. So the world card kind of says to me with the six of wands and the six of swords, the world keeps turning. The more you learn, the more you grow, the more you try, the more you conquer, right? The more you go up, the more you go down, the more you go down, the more you go up, the more you are depressed, the more you are happy, right? So the ending here says to me, it reminds me of the law, the universal law of polarity for every one thing, there is an equal and opposite thing. That is the dimension or the life or the, the um, realm that we live in, in this physical 3D time space continuum called life. Okay. I'm not going to pull any of my um, angel answers cards because angels said they don't, they don't fit with the reading. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Scorpio. If you've liked the reading, if it was educational, <laughs> don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one i love you bye